hello and welcome to another video in lab view today we will learn some another features of lab view how can you make your dashboard very interactive depending on the different conditions so my goal is to today explore some property node uh, let's say you have one slider okay let me make it little bit large so you can easily see what the operation i'm going to perform make the maximum value 100 and here you take any let's say filled slider and it will be used as a indicator okay this is your control and this is your indicator in real scenario uh, this indicator uh, could be used to show your difference uh, parameter from the field it could be a tank level it could be a temperature or anything else it could be okay I am just doing this simulation here and I connect this control to indicator now I did not do anything just I took the one control and one indicator I connect to each other and if I run this one you see uh, as I increase the control the indicator showing the bar keep increasing gradually till the maximum value okay now the one thing is that if you want to change the color of indicator then this is very simple just go to properties okay and from here you can change any color of your choice whatever you like okay now what i want that i ma i want my indicator color to be changed according to the condition which I will put it on this control uh, means that I want that the indicator should show the level field in the color of blue when the control value is below 25 degrees centigrade and from all above the values of 25 degrees centigrade it the color should be changed uh, in another uh, another color whatever you select you will select the color for this what you can do that <coughs> you have to take the property node of the indicator just right click on this one go to create go to property node and search here fill color okay you can see the path right click on the indicator go to create go to property node and go to fill color just take it here and change is uh, instead uh, change to write instead of read okay now what i am going to do i take one condition here let's say the value if the value is less than sorry this is the greater than if the value is less than let's say 50 okay then i take the constant color from the dialog and user interface then go to color box and take this constant value okay if the value is less than 50 and greater than 50 what should be the colored i take just take this one up, copy paste and here i take i take one this color and i take the, this color okay what does mean that what condition i'm going to create now go to the comparisons select select why this one okay give this condition here and this one 
uh, less than okay here and then this one we can make here okay <clears throat> so this condition is actually if the value is less than 20 this condition is true okay until unless the controlled value is less than 50 then the bar of the indicator the color bar of the indicator should be green and if this condition is false means this means that the value is not less than 50 but greater than 50 then the bar indicator should be the red okay now i make it first to zero and run the program you see zero zero now i will give it increase now see my current value is less than 50 and the bar color is green okay it will keep green until unless i reach to uh, 50 or below 50 now i am 47 it is still green 48 now as i cross the 50 the color of this bar becomes the red understand so in this way you can make your indicator colored conditionally depend on the your input or field values you can also make more than one condition not only two you can make more than uh, two condition like that if the value is less than 30 the color should be uh, blue if the value is uh, above 30 and below 60 then the value should be green and if the value is the above 50 then the value should then the color should be red or anything else so you can make n things any color change depending on your conditions or field values how you have to use the property node of your indicator again i show you you have to right click on the indicator just go to create go to property node and from here you have to select the field color and after selecting this one you have to change this uh, select this access change to read uh, okay because i have uh, i have selected that's why now it is showing change to read but you have to select you have to change this to change to write okay zero so in this way you can create your uh, indicator i told as early that indicator could be anything so your uh, tank level or your temperature sensor indication whatsoever okay hope you like the video